the beauty and the silence of this landscape will be the intro for this video. I'll just shut my mouth. We have started walking from the Bara La Chala at 8.45 a.m. in the search of uh, a beautiful unnamed lake. And since this hike starts from a pass, you get some mesmerizing views of the mountains. And you can see that all these uh, ranges or mountains are actually north facing and therefore they still have snow on them as of now on 25th of July 2021. Finally, some snow! Loving it. After walking for 2.5 kilometers, you get some amazing views of the CV9 and the Parvati peak. And the lake that we are looking for is in this terrain now, exactly 2 kilometers from this point. So, yeah, let's head straight into it. Let's see if we can find the lake. through 5100 meters guys we'll see the lake in what 10 walk 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 9 <laughs> 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 oh man amazing Amazing, amazing. One of the most beautiful lakes that at least I have come across. to drink some lake we have biscuits for a quick 10 minute snack no peanut and jaggery this time we are saturated eating them over and over again mm. amazing the stone reads uh, it has brother lake Nimya Ganga 15 mile 2020 and there is also a Karen here, right opposite. Heading back from the lake at 11.15. So guys, this is the uh, second uh, water body. I would rather say it as a pond not a lake maybe but yeah it is still there as a nice little water body on the maps beautiful lake the Yunam river is actually the one that is feeding this lake here so see guys such beautiful lakes are right here up close to the Bara La Challa and you can come here for day hikes uh, really nice exploration actually nobody will be here in this landscape and what amazing views you are going to get yeah speechless lake number two for the day let's see if we can find more the third lake is right uh, behind this uh, small ridge 100 meters Whew, another one
beautiful Nice Now walking up at 5200 meters guys you can see beautiful glaciers up ahead and we are actually at the source of the Yunnan river it is all these glaciers and peaks from where the river actually starts this is the last lake for the day come on in 3 2 1 boom we give you the last high altitude lake at 5200 meters which actually is also the source for the Yunnam river and at this altitude it is still half frozen and looks beautiful chunks of ice glacial ice feeding the lake we can see some uh, out of the world uh, formations now a bunch of uh, icicles actually so these are these beautiful icicles bright and shining amazing formations guys landscapes, temperature, pressure and water turn things so differently. Boom. Ah, it's cold now. The lake is actually the source for the Yunnam river. Ah, yep, and this is the one that flows all the way down. So we'll cross it now so that we always stay at the left bank of the river and we don't have to cross it until we reach our uh, Barala Challa. Bidding our goodbye to this beautiful landscape. The weather is turning bad. We still have 4 kilometers to go. guys no matter what whenever you are in these landscapes always carry a raincoat with you because once it starts raining even drizzling it becomes like super cold we can hear clouds cracking Time is 3 p.m. We got really lucky actually. Pretty safe now. Worst that we'll experience is a little bit of cold and rain. Close to the pass. Uh, another 30 minutes maybe. But yeah, not more than that. We are still negotiating this uh, boulder field. And you can see that how packed the whole weather is. Yeah. Yeah, so the time is 3.52 guys, uh, 16 km done, you can see it is 15.96 uh, km and the duration of 7 hour 10 minutes with an ascent of 500 meters but yeah please remember that we are already hiking at 5000 meters which is uh, a bit of a challenge in itself. We had parked our bike right here at the Barala Challa and now we'll quickly get down to the 
Bharatpur tent colony where we are staying for the night. This is all I had for the episode 2 of the Great Lakes of Lahore. I will very soon submit the GPX file on the OpenStreet Maps platform and within a week you will see a very nice trail connecting all these four lakes from the Barala Challa on any offline navigation applications that you use while hiking. Now I also have a good news, the two lakes that I had showcased in episode number one of this series, looking at a very old map, we actually got a name for these two lakes. Lake number one is known as Yunam So and lake number two is known as Sarchutal. I'll keep searching for the names for these four lakes that you saw in this episode. The moment I could come across a name looking at the survey of India map tiles I'll quickly share them in the video description here and I'll also make an Instagram post about it as of now there are two episodes in the Great Lakes of Lahore series but I'll keep adding more and more episodes as I keep hiking in this uh, area and keep exploring these uh, lesser known and less documented lakes this is all I had for now thank you so much for all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one